What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape Amazon's best-selling products by creating a simple workflow in any time. Let's get started. To scrape Amazon's best-selling products, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects. To get 30% off the first purchase of this tool, just click the link down below in the description. And then go ahead and create your account in Appify. And after creating your account, head over to Appify store. Here, we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape Amazon. So I'll search for Amazon right here. And then I'm going to search for the tool that we'd like to scrape a selling product. So I'll use this tool right here. So I'll open it on a new tab. This is a tool that we're going to use to scrape best selling products from Amazon. So all you have to do here is add a category order. For example, we can add a category like electronics. And here, you can add the number of products that you'd like to scrape. In our case, we're going to try scraping, let's say 10. And then you can also choose subcategories you like to scrape over here. I'm going to choose one. And now to scrape best selling electronics from Amazon, I'll click on save and start over here. Here, you can see that our tool is running. Let's give it a second for you to scrape our best selling products. Here, you can see it's actually scraping the products for us over here. It scrapes best selling electronics over here. Here, we're getting the position of the products. The mail URL, the name of the products, price, currency, category, and the URL over here. Now to get these products to our workflow right here, I'll click on API on the right, and then scroll down below, it says get, get data set items, and copy this URL, and I'll go back to our workflow. Here we're going to add a manual trigger, and then here we'll search for the HTTP request node, click on it, and here we're going to, uh, we're going to paste the URL that we just copied, and click on execute step to get our products right here. So here you can see we got our product details. So the 10 products here. So here are the 10 products that we just scraped. You can scroll down below to preview the products. The 10 products are here. So for each product, we're getting its name, URL, make ID, position, price, reviews, count, stars, thumbnail, category. Now this relevant information right here. This is incredible. Now, instead of having to manually scrape the products right here, using our tool, then copying the get data set item and coming and pasting it right here. So we can get our products. We can automatically scrape the products right here in our workflow. So to do that, I'll clear this URL. And then I'll open up before its documentation. And here, we're going to scroll down below to find the API that we'd like to call. Here, I'll click on run after synchronously with input and get data set items. And then here, I'll copy the C URL. Then I'll go back to our workflow. And here, I'll click on import URL and paste our C URL right here. Then click on import right here. Now here, we're going to add three items right here. We're going to add the actor ID, our token right here, and our JSON right here. Let's start by adding our actor ID. To get our actor ID, I'll go back to our tool. And then in the search URL, I'm going to copy the unique ID of this tool. They remember the, the actor ID is in the search URL. Then I'll, then I'll go back to our tool. Here, I'll paste our unique ID that we just copied. And then I'll scroll down below to add our token right here. To get our token, I'll go back to our tool. Click on settings and then I'll click on API and integration. Here you'll need to create a new token, give it a description, then click on create create a token. Since I had already created a token, I'm going to copy it. Then I'll go back to our node and paste our API token right here. And the last thing that we're going to add is the JSON right here. So I'll on specify body, I'm going to use the JSON. And then I'll paste our JSON right here. To get this JSON, I'll go back to our tool and we say manual and JSON, click on JSON. And then here I'll copy this JSON over here. Then I'll go back to our tool. Here I'll click on expression right here. Expand it to add our JSON. This is JSON right here. So we'd like to scrape products in this category. I would like to output only 10 of them. Now, to scrape the products right here in our workflow, I'll click on execute step over here. Here, you can see that our node was executed successfully and we got our 10 products over here that we just scraped. And then this node over here. This is awesome. Now, since our node is working perfectly here, I'll rename it to Amazon Bestsellers Scraper. Click on rename. Now, with our products over here, we can proceed to add the products to a Google spreadsheet. So, in Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Amazon products. And this is the spreadsheet that we're going to add our products over here. So, we're going to add our unique, the products, unique ID, title, brand, 
start review count category price and the product URL over here. So to add the products to this spreadsheet, I'll go back to our workflow and search for Google Sheets over here. Click on Google Sheets, then here click on append row in shape. Here, you here you'll need to create a new credential to connect your Google Sheet account to any 10 by clicking on sign in with Google, with Google over here. Then in the new window that pops up, choose the account that you'd like to connect to any 10. Then after choosing your account, your credential will be created. Since I had already done that, I'm going to close this and choose our spreadsheet right here, which will be this spreadsheet. Then I'll choose our sheet right here, which will be Amazon product sheet. And then here we're going to add values to our column, the product data that we scrape using Appify. So for the unique ID, we're going to drag the unique ID right here. Title, we're going to drag it right here. For the brand, Seems like we're now getting the products brand. So here, I'll delete this column right here. And then here, we're going to refresh our node. And we're going to add the stars right here. Review count, I'm going to drag it right here. Category, I'm going to drag it right here. Okay, so you can choose to add a full category name. Price, I'm going to drag it right here. URL, we're going to drag it over here. And then now to add our product to our spreadsheet, I'll click on Execute Step. You can see it's executing our node. And we added our 10 products to our spreadsheet. Here, I'll click on Back to Canvas. And then here, I rename this to Amazon Best Sellers. Here, I'll click on Rename. Now, when I open our spreadsheet, you can see the products that we just scraped and added to our spreadsheet. Here, we added the indicator of the product, title of the product, Stars, review count categories, price, and then the product URL over here. Describe these best selling products from Amazon and added, and added the products to our spreadsheet right here. Using the simple workflow that we created right here in Anytime, we are scraping best selling products from Amazon using this tool in Appify. Right here, this is the tool that we're using to scrape best selling products. Then, after scraping the products, we are in the products to our spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is similar to this one over here. By creating this simple workflow right here in Anytime, so our workflow works perfectly. I thank you for watching. Now, if you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using any turn, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments, and if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using any turn. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.